Okay, welcome to the show. Uh, my name is Jared McCarthy, and I'm here with Taylor Harrison from Healthspace in Roselle. Welcome to the show, Taylor. Hi, Jared. Lovely to be here. It's great to, to be on the show. Hey, you're very welcome. Well, Taylor, I guess I've come here, I don't know, for a few years now on and off with, um, I've had a few injuries due to sports and that, mm. but can you tell us a little bit more about what the, the practice does, what you do here, and, um, and your approach to it? Yeah, certainly, I'd, I'd love to. Here at Healthspace, we're a multidisciplinary clinic. Um, as you said, you've been coming now on and off for a number of years. Uh, we, I myself am a chiropractor, but we work not only with, uh, with other chiropractors, we've got massage therapists, acupuncturists, uh, nutritionists, uh, kinesiologists, life coaches, you name it, we've got it here, basically. We really want to try and provide a one-stop shop for people to improve their health and well-being and really have a holistic approach to it. So not just looking at someone's physical aspect, but if they want to look at new, some nutritional aspects, um, changing their lifestyle, we want to encourage and support them with that. Great, well, I, I guess uh, I'll just bring back to myself for a second. When, when I first started coming here, generally I have injuries in either calf or hamstring or a knee, which is mainly caused by playing sport. Mm. But what I found was, yeah, you did take it a very different approach than I expected and quite often the calf or the hamstring had something to do with my back or my neck or yeah. something else and I found that really interesting that if you made an adjustment maybe in my neck or my back then it really sped up the healing processes. Yeah. What, can you t just elaborate a bit, a bit more about it because I think that's really important for people to know about. Yeah definitely in that when we uh, when we look at our body as, oh, as chiropractors, when we look at the body, we really look at it as a whole system. What happens in one area of the body has a ramification in other areas. And there's a lot of science behind this, a lot of research behind this, in what happens at your neck will affect your hamstring length. Uh, and there's some complicated reasons behind it, but what you need to know as, a, as someone coming in with a, with a problem, and it may be that a lower back problem or a leg problem like yeah. you've had, that there are other parts of the body that have influence in it. And the main thing as chiropractors we focus on is the spine, the nervous system. Every part of your body is controlled through your spine and nervous system. So your brain sends a message from that wherever it is. So say it's the calf muscle, it sends, gets a message from the calf saying, I'm tight, I'm strained, there's some inflammation here, there's something going on. And that's what they call nociceptive information. That's the, what the pain-based message is. Sends a message up to the brain, which then says, okay, well, we need to do something to correct that. But the message just travels through the spine. And now the research we look at shows that the better your spine moves and the better your spine functions, the better those messages are able to flow through there. And it comes through right. the stimulation through movement of the spine. The old bone out of place, it, look, it's, it was a very simplistic model that chiropractors yes. used to explain, oh, we're just putting your bone back into place. No, it's not what we really do. We get your spine moving better again. And in particular, the areas where the nerves are affecting that part where the injury is. So say yes. yep, with the calf, generally the lower back area is often the nerve supply down into the calf and the, and the lower limb. The yes. better we get that lower back moving, the better the calf is going to heal and repair, as well as actually working on the calf itself. We want to work on the site of injury, sure. of inflammation, get that moving better, but also get the messages flowing down to it. Indeed, and I guess the body being the way it is, once you get an injury in one place, the other parts of the body start to compensate for it, and yep. then that, unless you kind of, I suppose, deal with all of Yep. that compensation then this is going to compound itself is it exactly right and we see so many patterns in the body that when something's going on in the in say in the left leg for instance the right leg will the other muscles will compensate they'll start to work differently they'll start to overload and one of the things that we commonly find is the area of pain isn't the cause of the problem it's often a compensation right so if one side of the body isn't working well then the other side has to work twice as hard to do to take up that extra workload and the analogy that I use for our patients here is, if you've got two workers working side by side and one of them quits because he's gone off to have a break, he's not the one complaining. It's the one now that has to do twice as much work that ends up being the one yes. that, that's, that's going, hey, this isn't good, this, is, this yeah. isn't right. And that's often what happens in the body as well. So if people just work on the side of their pain or where they feel the problem is, often they're missing the bigger picture. Right, right. Yeah. Now, and I guess, you, 
you, at the beginning there you said you seem to do quite a, a wide range of things here, which is yeah. uh, quite amazing. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, like what, what other people do here? Or? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I mean, I'm not the expert on acupuncture and uh, on, on massage and all those different areas, though we do incorporate that as much as we can into everyone's uh, uh, treatment program when needed. Um, the best way I can explain is, as a chiropractor, I can help a lot of people with a lot of things, but I can't, there, there are limits to what I can do. Yes. Um, some people will respond brilliantly to chiropractic and we're able to help them get great results. However, other people will respond more brilliantly with acupuncture or with massage, or, right. which is quite common with a lot of people, a combination of different things and right, different yes. approaches. Yep. So we like to try and, as I said, have that holistic approach. And when someone comes in for their initial consult, we'll have a look at their nutrition at their exercise, at their sleeping patterns, all these kind of things. And this is something we've actually improved over the years. So Gerard, you wouldn't have uh, had as much of the experience, particularly as we've moved to the, the brand of health space. We've changed okay. into that about a year ago. We've really encouraged that more overall health and well-being approach and trying to address as many things as possible. So even if someone comes in with a hamstring tear, what's that got to do with your diet? Well, your ability to recover is tied in with what kind of nutrition you're giving yourself. So if you're getting good fuel in, your body's able to rebuild, heal, uh, reduce inflammation faster. So a good example of that is some foods will make you more inflamed. Um, fattier foods, sugary foods, alcohol is a pro-inflammatory, unfortunately for everyone out there who likes a drink. It will actually make yep. you sore. It will take your body longer to heal. And the last one, the most obvious one for most people is smoking. People who smoke, it takes longer for them to heal because their body is trying to clear out the toxins from the yes. cigarettes as well. Right. But that can right. go right through their diet. So that's yeah. that's a nutrition aspect. Mm -hmm. But also the big one we see is the mental aspect. The people right. with stress, money worries, having relationship troubles, those things have a huge impact on your overall physical health as well. So people we see coming in with neck pain, headaches, back pain, not sleeping well. A lot of that is actually stemming from emotional stresses and worries. And we don't try and play psychologists, but we definitely address that, that that's the reason for it. If they keep saying, well, hang on, why is my neck hurting? I haven't done anything. It's often that stress and tension. Yes. And what right. we focus on then is obviously just trying to get them relaxed, trying to get them comfortable yes. um, and able to get that, able to deal with that stress in their life. Everyone's going to have stresses, yes. but able to deal with it better. So that's, and there's the many different ways to approach that. Chiropractic is one way to approach it. But there's massage, as I said, and all that mm -hmm. acupuncture and um, life coaching and all these other great things that people can do to really help them. Fantastic. Now, how long has how long have you been in Roselle? I, I know it was that you had what were you called previously? You had yeah, we've, name we've, we've changed yeah. we've changed names a couple of times here. Right. I've been here now for a while. I've been here for seven years. Seven and I live, years. Right. Yeah, live locally in the area. Um, I started here when it was Roselle Chiropractic and then it got bought out by Cairo Sports. Right, right. Um, and the guys from Cairo Sports, the, these, the owners here, changed it to Health Space last year, this time last year, because they wanted to get away from just doing chiropractic and sports, which was our yes. specialty and that's why yeah. Drive came in, being yeah. a, you know, elite <laughs> sports person. Um, <laughs> we, we wanted to move away from just just doing chiropractic and sports because we want to offer so much more than and then than that. There's nothing we still do chiropractic and still do sports. But it but just makes so much more sense yeah. because when you hear chiro, that's what you think. Yep. Whereas health space is well, yeah. it says it all really. It's yep. a great name, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. So we've been really happy with that transitioning into the to the more holistic health. So yeah, um, as I said, I've been living locally. I live just around the corner, and and um, yeah. Uh, so you're very a true much local involved. now. Yes, very much so. <laughs> very much a true local. I'm proud to be a Roselle local. So um, and when people say, "Oh, you live in Balmain?" No, I live in Roselle. <laughs> it's not Balmain. It's Roselle. I'm very proud. Very good. Well, Taylor, thanks so much for um, coming on the show. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you, thank you very much, Gerard, and uh, well, I'll see you soon to keep you straight. <laughs> <laughs> very good.